Things are looking so beautiful this morning. Good morning, everybody out there. Welcome to Rag Bri. At least my first day ever riding, officially riding Rag Bri. I've been a part of it for many years, either on this side of the microphone like I am this morning. Otherwise, my parents had a snow cone company when I was younger, so we used to find places along the Rag Bri route and sell snow cones and do things like that. So I know what Rag Bri is all about, but I've never been on the bike. We got the bikes geared up, ready to go. I, myself, am all geared up, ready to go. We have the official logo for this year, uh, Rag Bri shorts going on. I have my official one day pass. I am official. Thank you very much. Woke up, uh, or since I made someone else wake up really super early to go to the fairgrounds and <laughs> make sure we were official today because you want to get these. Uh, we know a lot of people are going to be jumping on this leg of the tour because it's so close to central Iowa, but you're not going to be allowed into some of the fun things that they have planned along the route unless you have this band on your wrist. So we encourage you to get that. Also something kind of special I made sure to do is a silver nail. What is that about? Uh, today along the route, they're honoring uh, Parkinson's and having Parkinson's awareness along the route. And the national color for that is silver. So I wanted to make sure I had a little representation from silver. We're valid. We got the shorts on. We are ready to go. And you couldn't ask for a more beautiful day as you just heard from Taylor Canoe. So we're here at the corner winter set. Got our coffee in us. As you can see, the bikers are out in full force. They're ready. They're ready to get towards coming. We uh, scouted the route last night. We saw that Mr. Pork Chop is going to be right before coming so we will definitely make sure we're going to stop by and see him and some other wonderful things along the route so follow us on social media platforms everywhere of course on facebook with iowa live and jackie iowa live because we will be posting some fun photos and little stories along the way but i wanted to talk to some wonderful riders along the way mark Lowe, of course with our wonderful uh department of transportation you sir are an athlete and love Ragbri. I do love Ragbri, yeah. It's just such a great way to experience Iowa and not just Iowans, but people from all over. Now, you've been, we were talking a little bit before, and you said you've been working six months with uh, troopers, with uh, getting everything laid out to make sure. Because I'm always wondering, are you staring at the roads the entire time, or are you actually enjoying? Well, I do look at the roads just because you're supposed to watch the surface, but I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. And one thing I really like to point out, this route is on mostly county roads because right. we try and keep it off primary roads. So we really have to give our hats off to all the county engineers across the state that do a great job of, of keeping up the roads and then making the route safe for us. As an enthusiast, as an athlete, as someone who kind of knows our road system, even if it is mostly county roads, what are you going to say to the people that might be interested in jumping on this particular leg of the tour today? Yeah, the thing I would say about today and really every day is don't make it a race. Really enjoy it and ride safe because there's going to be lots of people. So so work together with each other. Really watch out for each other and, uh, and have a good time and, and be safe. Now, this guy's actually doing it right. You had a pup tent. You were at the fairgrounds with, uh, you know, 10,000 of your closest friends last night. What's your favorite part about this experience, waking up when the sun comes up and jumping in with an incredible group like we see behind us? Yeah, you know, my favorite part is actually just getting into the campgrounds and just experiencing all the people around us and then and then experiencing the host towns as, as we go through so um, it's the ride's great but then it's all the people around you that really make it spectacular yeah and that's who we hope to uh, meet more of today so you were doing it the right way you were in your tent i was glamping a little bit last night so i want to do a big shout out and thank you to linda junket for giving us a beautiful place to stay and then also dale tuttle uh, with tuttle insurance for giving us a location to stay last night in a winter set so we're going to be getting on the road, heading our way uh, towards coming. We're going to stop at a pumpkin patch, of course, pork chop coming, uh, and all the wonderful things leading up to Indianola, as well as following along with Elias Johnson. He's going to jump on with us for the first little leg of the tour while he does his incredible work. Remember, you can follow all of those stories. One great location, we are Iowa. Mark, are you ready for this this morning? I am ready for it. Let's okay. go. First time person on the on Rag Ride ever on a bike. What do you recommend? Let's just take it easy. Let's work our way in and have a good time. Love this guy. Thank you for everything you do for our road system. Appreciate it, sir. You guys have an amazing time in the studio. We're going to go jump on our bikes and do my first time ever on Reg Bry. Hope to see you online, everybody. Have a great day. Oh, that's so excited! She's for having her. a good time, isn't she? Yeah, yep. yeah, and such a gorgeous day for it. And they're out. That's out. That's my route. Urban. Oh, it is home. Yeah, those. That's where I, I live. So I saw some of the bikers already out this morning. How hilly is it over in that area? In. Is it pretty? It's